All right, there's two other statistics that we need to look at, and they are the standard deviation for the residuals and the standard error for the slope. Uh, they're different measures, but uh, they kind of build on each other. The first one, the standard deviation for the residuals, tells us how far a typical vertical distance is between the point and a linear regression line. So it basically just tells you how far away points are from the line that we're predicting for them to be. And we want our standard deviation to be low if we wanted to predict it well. So if we take our data set, uh, the formula is the sum of all the residuals squared over n minus 2, and then we square root it. So uh, there's no quick, easy button on our calculator to do this. Uh, I wish there was, but not yet. But what there, we already have our residuals figured out in L3. So now we just have to take our L3 numbers and square them. And we have that list. So now it tells us we want to sum those up. To sum up a list, we can hit second stat, go over to sum, which is number five. So we went over to math, go down to number five. So we're going to sum up, was it L4? And we got 276.13. Now that's the sum of all my residuals squared. Now I'm going to take that number and divide by n minus 2. There's five data points, so I'm going to take that number and divide by 3, and then square root it. So divide that by 3, square root the answer, and we have about 9.6. So S is about 9.6. So a typical unit is about, a typical height is about 9.6 units away from our linear regression line. Now, standard error for slope tells us how much a slope will vary from the sample slope. So, because if I took a different sample, I could get a different slope. So, uh, we want to know how, how much will the slope vary from, um, from sample to sample. So, this is the standard error for slope. Sometimes they write S with a little b down here, and sometimes they write SE with a little b. Two different ways to write it. And what they do is they take the S, which is the standard deviation for the residu residuals, and divide it by square root of the sum of x minus x bar. This is a little bit more complicated. Uh, now, to go through this, uh, you would take our S value here, 9.6, and divide it by each x value minus its mean. Uh, and then sum all those up, and then square root it. Now, uh, this value is not something that's common to find on its own. So we're not going to go through uh, all of the calculations. Mainly what we need to know is what it does, what it means. So when we uh, want to interpret these values, this is usually where, uh, where this is presented in AP Statistics. The standard deviation for the residuals, if I interpret our standard deviation here, I'd say a typical point or a typical height is about 9.6 units from our linear regression line. And standard error for slope. First, I'm going to figure out the standard error for slope. Hold on. All right, I went through, and I found 12.117. But I, I uh, went to L5, and I took each x value minus its mean. So I found the mean of the L1, subtracted them. And one thing I noticed is this should be squared. Uh, hopefully, it's the squared on your... Uh, no sheet. And uh, then I uh, summed all those up over here. And then I took the square root of them to get 12.117. And now if I take 
divided by that answer, I get 0.79. So when we interpret this, a typical, a, a typical slope will be about 0.79 from uh, our sample slope for predicting height. All right. Now the last thing we have to look at, and this is the most important of these three, it's coefficient of determination or R squared. It's the fraction of variation in the values of y that can be explained by linear regression on y of y on x. This one is on the test quite a bit. Now, if you want to go from r squared to r, you square root it. Or if you want to go from r to r squared, you square it. So you just take whatever r value and you square that. Now, um, if to find the r squared value on your calculator, the easiest way is to do your linear regression of L1 and L2, hit calculate, and you get 0.74. Now interpreting it, we have to go back to the definition, and these words, I say memorize because these are words that we have to know. They're used in code all the time. I hear them on, uh, on the radio, on TV. Uh, sometimes they say the percent of variation, uh, but this is these words you'll hear. They'll say the percent of the variation of the y values of y that can be explained by a linear regression of y on x. Don't try to be much different from that. What we want to say is 74% of the variation in height can be explained by a linear regression with knee height. A lot of people try to word this in their own, like paraphrase this, and a lot of times when you paraphrase, you miss important words. The variation is an important word. Uh, you got to have the y value here. You have to have the x value here. You have to talk about it being explaining by that linear regression. Make sure you answer that correctly. All right, now here's the data set. Find R squared and interpret it.